It is Thursday workday and Eric is busy putting saucers underneath all of the things I planted between the showers on my last video. We also have a big project. We're going to prune the large pineapple guava. It's going to mean some major cuts, so we're going to be using some of IV Organics product on that. And we have to be careful because the passion fruit vine is growing through the guava. So we don't want to damage the vine because it's loaded with fruit. And I did something crazy. I bought an apple tree. My first apple tree, espalier. And we're gonna be planting that as well as some snapdragon because I want more color. This Valentine week is coming up next week, my birthday and my son is coming in tonight from minnesota where it's been minus 30 below and polar vortex and we are throwing a little party and hopefully you'll get to see him and so much going on i'm very excited so please stay with me yeah see this is this is very low here and so we're going to take this a pull. big piece off of this let's cut it back to uh, Along there? Right there, and that way. Then I can do good, good work. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, well, I'll cut it right here. That looks better. Here? Yeah. Oh, 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 I, okay. I didn't want you to drip it on the, your glove. This one? Yeah, take that one back. See, this is the old cut. Yeah, let's go, yeah. See, the uh -huh. old cut is here. Yeah. Right here. Right here? Yeah. See? There. No, but this is the cut. I know, but do that one first. I can see. Everything, total? This has to come off, yeah. Is that the one you're cutting? No. This, but it's inside. Let me, let me clean. Okay. Be careful. So we did a compromise. We got this section done. I like it going up, just not laying over so heavy this way. And we had to leave some of the big pieces to support the passion fruit. So he's gonna clean up and get the dead stuff inside, open it up a little bit, thin it out, and we'll be done. One, two, three. And then... Oh, beautiful. Since we took the fruit off the vine, now he's going back in and doing a little bit more surgery. Yeah, I'll leave it. Okay. But it... We need to move it back though, don't we? See? Yeah, good. Yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. good. Can you drape it on the other one, the, the one that has nothing on it? Yeah. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah. Up here? If you can get it. It. Well, no, no, it's okay. It have a heavy this. Ah. It, it have to put it inside now. No. This little prune will get better than the, the big one. Yeah. See? Oh, yeah. Inside. See? More faster. So as long as Eric had his good ladder here, he decided to do a little, little trimming here. A little trimming on the pine tree. It gets really thick with clusters, and then it's hard to have any sunlight penetrate the garden. One more here. Okay. Put the poison inside. Okay. See? Good. Yeah. Yes. And then patch it everything. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay. 
See, it's inside. See? Right, right. See? See? I know, I know. So there's always something that you forget that you have to do before you can proceed along your list. And I realized we really needed to fix this top piece of redwood on the fence because termites had really done a lot of damage. Guess what? Termites like redwood. <laughs> so I got out the eco-friendly termite spray and the nozzle was missing. And we tried to make it work with other nozzles and in so doing it got all over my hands, sprayed my glasses. Thank goodness it was echo friendly. So he is filling the holes with this poison. Then he's going to fill the holes with Bondo. Then we're going to plant the apple tree. I see. So you add a, like an adhesive to it or Dra something. To dry it. The king. The king or the queen? The queen. <laughs> the queen. <laughs> I'm not sure who rules in the termite community. That is really nice dirt, huh? Beautiful. Okay, here's my tree, and I cannot believe they don't have a tag on it, because I don't remember what I bought. Oh, it's a Dorset Golden. Okay, good. Oh, that looks broken. It really got beat up coming here. This is the old hole, the old one. See? Are you down to the original? The original, this is, we need to do extra here. These are my daikon radishes and don't they look fabulous? I think they're only three or four in each pot. I think we could put some more dirt in these, Eric. Oh my God, that is so heavy. Ah. Eric, this is actually broken. What? This piece is broken right there. What are you? Oh, okay. Eh? Yeah. Do you open there no room? No, no, I know. Okay. I hold the you pull, put, okay. put the put the plastic out for me. Be careful. Now we need to move the room. Oh, wow. Okay, obviously this has been in the pot for a long time. Take a look. Okay. That is a lot of roots. Oh, See, wow. we need to keep going. Grow. Oh. Okay. Let me make sure the size is correctly, okay? See? See? Do we need to put dirt? See? Let's see. Level. See? Okay. But this is the level. You see? It's a little bit level. low, isn't it? Just a little bit. It's low. Oh, you know what? I want to get some of that alfalfa. I've got alfalfa here that I bought for the rose, the climbing rose, and I keep forgetting about it because it's in the garage. So let's use half of that at the bottom. There you go. <laughs> And then the, the coffee, the alfalfa, and the nutrition. Okay. Do you have a... 
give me the the the, the trago a little one. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. That's fine too. Can I right. do it? I'll mix. Bamboo? Yeah. That's right. Oh. That's like quite here. That looks nice. All new. New. All new. This, I believe, is a Cape Gooseberry. I put it out on the internet uh, asking people what it was because it came up as a volunteer. I don't really know for sure what it is, but uh, we're going to put it in the ground over there. You want to put it in the What side you like? Like this? Yeah. It's too deep. Too deep? So okay. we'll put a little extra. Okay. 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 Good. Okay. These two volunteer tomatoes somehow made it through the winter and they look pretty bad and they've got mildew, but I just sprayed them with hydrogen peroxide water formula and we're going to put them in and see how they do. You want me to hold it? What three is this? A lot of garlic. And we got a bunch of these in there too. So we got all that planting done, the snapdragons, the parsley, the apple tree, the tomatoes relocated, the Cape gooseberry, I think. And I wanted to show you a couple of discoveries while he finishes the cleanup. I just wanted to show you the grapevine. Remember it was not looking so good, looked dead after we transplanted it here. And look at that. It has leafed out and it's blooming. Wait. Actually, those are not blooms, those are leaves. <laughs> I discovered, I think this is miner's lettuce. I'm not sure actually, it looks kind of like that. And I used to have some miner's lettuce. This of course is a weed. This is a weed. We don't want weeds in the late bloomer garden. Ooh. Weeds, weeds, weeds. If you know what that is, and it's not miner's lettuce, let me know. In case you've never grown snapdragon, it does get big. This is one plant right here which is why I like to use these little cages for support because they get top heavy with all those blooms and you don't want to have that thing pop open and look gorgeous and then get blown down in the wind. We did not have time to mound up the daikon radish, but we can do that next time. Thanks so much for watching this channel and liking my videos, most importantly sharing them with your friends and I'll see you in the next video. Where do you go? <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please watch these. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I'll see you in the next video.